we are going to discuss aromatic hydrocarbons so first of all we must able to understand what are aromatic compounds up till now we know that the aromatic compounds are like benzene but this kind of thinking is a very limited thinking so what exactly that aromatic compounds are having that we are going to discuss so first of all we will see certain characteristic properties of the aromatic compounds so these characteristic properties when you try to understand uh, then you can easily understand the difference between aromatic compounds and the non aromatic compounds now see all aromatic compounds are cyclic compound that is true they are cyclic they are ring compound okay another characteristic which is very very important they show unusual stability i have given here one example the meaning of unusual stability any compound which is having more energy is unstable compound now you see here i have considered a compound which is having a single double bond cyclohexy so when we add hydrogen in presence of catalyst like pdc we get cyclohexane and this reaction is a, a exothermic reaction where minus 28.6 kilo calorie per mole energy is liberated so i consider this was the energy of this cyclohexene and when cyclohexane is formed this is the energy of cyclohexane so this much energy difference you can see here this much energy is liberated during this conversion so uh, after this you can consider the compound where two double bonds present so this is cy cyclohexadiene you can see here this is cyclohexadiene having two double bonds when this compound is reduced or when two molecules of h2 are added in presence of catalyst we get this much amount of energy minus 55.4 kilo calorie per mole and the compound is converted to the cyclohexene having again having this much amount of energy this much energy is associated with cyclohexane but in this compound when you compare these two compounds one extra double bond is there for one double bond if minus 28.6 kilo calorie energy is liberated and then if compound having two double bond we can easily expect that 2 into minus 28.6 that comes minus 57.2 kilo calorie per mole that much energy should liberate and actual this is experimental value which is minus 55.4 you can see here very less energy difference we can observe that means whatever value we have calculated here theoretically that matches with the experimental value and this indicates if the less amount of energy is liberated than we expect then this cyclohexadiene is somehow stable means if we consider this is the energy point of or the energy associated with this cyclohexadiene actually this is little lower than our expected values now similarly we can consider one more compound which is having three alternate double and single bonds so this is our benzene or we call it as cyclohexatriene now when we add one extra double bond we can see or we can expect its potential energy is more or its energy is more when this compound is subjected to reduction by adding three molecules of h2 in presence of catalyst actual value i mean this much energy is produced this much energy is liberated that is minus 49.8 you can see here you can compare this value which is very very low and when we calculate the, or we can say theoretical value for one double bond this much energy is liberated minus 28.6 and here in this compound there are three double bond so 3 into minus 28.6 so
So we expect minus 85.6 kilocalorie energy. But you can see here experimental value is very low as compared to the theoretical value. That difference is around 36 kilocalorie. So this much energy difference we can observe. That means actually this benzene ring is more stable. It is not here. If I draw this, if I extend this line, the energy of expected benzene is this much. But actually this is lowered in energy by this value 36 kilocalorie. So that will come here. That will come here around here. That means whatever we expect, whatever energy associated with this benzene we expect is actually not its actual value. It is lying below that value. That means this benzene is more stable uh, uh, than what we expect. So this is more stable. So benzene is more stable and that stability is gained due to aromaticity. So this is stable and this is unusual value. This is unusually stable and this is another characteristic of aromatic compound. So this is the meaning of that. Now moving toward the third characteristics of uh, so aromatic compounds, they undergo substitution reaction, very straight. They undergo substitution reaction rather than addition reaction. We know that when their unsaturated or double bond is present, we expect addition reaction. When we add bromine, we expect addition of bromine. Suppose uh, this bond is selected. So one Br is added here and another Br is added here. All carbons having hydrogen. So I have shown here two hydrogens. Actually, all carbons having hydrogens. So when Br is added, this is expected, but this is not the uh, case. This is not actually happened in case of benzene. So although there are three, three double bonds, we cannot have this addition reaction so easily. This is not possible. Then instead of that, it gives substitution reaction. So one hydrogen is substituted. One hydrogen is substituted. We get here HBr and we get here substituted product. This is very, very uh, common reactions for aromatic hydrocarbons. So aromatic hydrocarbons show unusual stability. This is one thing. And another most important property is they give substitution reaction rather than addition reaction, although there are three, three or they are unsaturated compounds. So this is another one. Now one more property I want to add, but I have written here question mark. Burns, they burn with sooty flame. They burn. When we burn, they burn with sooty flame. Means yellow flame with lot of soot at the top of this flame. So they burn with sooty flame. This is soot. And this is yellow flame. Yellow flame. So they burn with sooty flame. So actually this has happened because of more percentage of carbon as compared to their uh, similar of the compound which is saturated or saturated hydrocarbons. So that may be the uh, characteristic property of aromatic hydrocarbons, aromatic compounds. But there are certain aliphatic compounds which are actually, which are also showing this uh, sooty flame property. So we cannot uh, associate or uh, this is not the actually uh, the property of only aromatic hydrocarbons. So there is a question whether this is to be included here or not. But in our laboratory, we can easily find whether the compound is aromatic or not. Maybe that compound aromatic or not. We cannot say firmly that the compound is aromatic if it burns with sooty flame. Because there are certain aliphatic compounds. For example, acetylene. Uh, I mean, when there is more percentage of carbon as compared to hydrogen, that compound burn or show uh, incomplete oxidation and because of that it shows a sooty flame. So these may or may not be included. But first three properties are actually firmly associated with aromatic hydrocarbon, cyclic hydrocarbons. They are cyclic. They are unusually stable although they are having unsaturation and they show substitution reaction rather than addition reaction. So these are the properties or these are the characteristic properties of aromatic hydrocarbons.